following demo may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Viewer's discretion is advised. Hey guys, welcome to some Five Nights at Freddy's alternate universe. Um, so this is an incredibly short demo and I've seen some screenshots of it. It is incredibly well made and I'm actually really excited to see what it's about. Uh, apparently in this one, William is the purple guy. Henry is still around. So hey, um, let's see what it's all about, shall we? Before starting, I want to clarify that it's a visual novel. We'll have a series of chapters, and this demo contains only the 11th chapter. With that said, let's start. 11. The Puppet. Henry and William were in storage, alone. Henry was trying to give maintenance to Bonnie's head, as William was handing him some tools. I think this is almost done. Henry got a little apart trying to appreciate the results of his work. What do you think? Yeah, it's looking good. Henry glances at him. That answer felt a little weird enough. Made him worry a bit. Is there something wrong? You know, I'm not afraid of your comments or suggestions. Yeah, no, I just had something rambling in my head. That's all. Oh, well. Henry returned to William gently placing their hand on his shoulder. You can talk to me if you need to. You know I'll never judge you for anything. William was interested. He thought that maybe it was a good chance to dig a little. Yeah, I think I'll feel better if I talk about it. Okay, what do you know about, uh, the puppet? The puppet? Henry felt in a sort of shock. He hasn't heard of that name in so long. His chest began to feel heavy. Why do you ask? I heard that name from somewhere and I'm just curious. I thought that the others probably don't know as much as you do. You know how I am. I always surrender to my curiosity. William rubbed his neck, softly giggling. Well, he lost that thing a long time ago. I don't know where it is now. Henry gulped. He was having a hard time remembering. Remember, I built it for her. Ugh. Charlotte. Henry cleared his throat, looking away. For the first time in a while, he was feeling better. And remembering felt like destroying everything. It hurt him. But he tried to keep his composure. Oh? That's unexpected. Why would you do that? Henry sat down again. He tried to calmly breathe, trying to prepare himself. William just sat down next to him. He was ready for anything he had to say. I know if, and if somebody already told you. He didn't want to continue. But when he left, five children disappeared. Oh yeah, sure. I know about that, William thought. My god, it's awful. I, I didn't know anything. Did they find them? Henry's hands began to shake, remembering wasn't a good thing for him. But he didn't want to leave William just like that. No, he never found them. Back then, I thought they just snuck out and went to a friend's house. I uh, know, play video games and being kids. But when the days passed, everyone was terrified. I remember even having to spend time in jail. They saw me as a suspect. But they let me out because they had nothing against me. It hurt me. I feel horrible even now. I'm still worried. Then Henry shook his head, noticing that he was rambling about how he felt. I'm sorry. I never talk about that event with... with anyone. It's okay. Go on if you want. I don't mind. Well, since that happened, I was terrified and... I tried to build something that, you know... Something that would protect her. And William just listening to him as Henry was having a rough moment remembering. Henry tried to breathe slowly. He thought he already reached his limit. Yeah, I'm sorry, Will. He thought it was best to stop and focus his mind on something else. Anything. I don't feel I talk about this. It gives me so many bad memories. William didn't mind. He already heard enough about the puppet. He already had an idea of what that thing was. 
He then placed his hand on Henry's back, giving him some pats. It's alright. I can only imagine how hard it is for you. I'm here if you feel like talking any time, okay? William smiled at Henry as he was trying to calm himself down. Henry tried to smile back at him. Suddenly, William got up. Tch, I'm sure the kids will be happy with Bonnie being like new. Don't you think? The kids. Yeah. Henry got up too, feeling better than before. I have to put Bonnie's head back to its place. Can you help me? William nodded, smiling. Then, both of them got closer and lifted it together. Ugh. This is heavier than I remembered. Yeah? Maybe it just got weaker. <laughs> no, but I... Yeah, I usually ask Scotty to help me with these things. Yeah, Scotty really stuck to you. It... Sounds quite affectionate. After a moment, they put it back in its place. Tuh, done. Henry stretched himself a little. Asking for help to lift stuff makes me feel a little older. Yeah. Oh, you. You're not that old. Henry giggled. That comment took him by surprise. I'm not what I was before. But it was part of life, isn't it? I suppose. Anyway, that was some FNAF AU. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to play this for yourself, link to the game will be in the description below. Oh god, this was incredibly short, but like it was incredibly well made. I could not find like the original comic which this was based on. I'm not sure what exactly happened to it, but I really hope that a developer actually continues working on this. This seems incredibly promising and heck, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I, I really want to see more of this. Anyway. Um, if there's any other games you guys want me to check out, let me know in the comments below. And as always, I will be seeing you in the next video. This is Lion, signing off. Ciao.